Shannon Bryant here. Uh, I just want to go over a few of the tools that I think you need when you have mature skin, okay? So our lightest coverage brush is going to be your blend brush, okay? It's going to give you an airbrushed finish and a very light coverage. And what's great about it is it's going to get into those wrinkles, okay? It's going to swoop into those wrinkles and the makeup isn't going to sit on top or accentuate them. Okay. And then the, the other brush that I really love for application is our blush and bronzer. And this is our second lightest coverage brush. And when I say light coverage, I mean the bristles aren't packed very tight. So you see the bristles are very loose in both of these and it's going to pick up less makeup. Um, depending on the coverage that you want is that's how I will determine what brush I will color match you with. So if you like a fuller coverage, this is our most full coverage brush. The bristles are packed super tight. So it picks up the most makeup out of all of our brushes and it will give you a, um, a better coverage if you are wanting a thicker kind of coverage okay but for mature skin I really do I really do like these the best okay um, I also think that the line brush is a definite must because I believe the eyebrows are a must okay and then the perfector sponge this is great for several reasons one uh, when you get finished with your makeup application, you have a wet sponge. You wet it and wring it out, okay? And then you go over your makeup like this, and it picks up any excess, and it kind of pushes it down into your wrinkles, okay? So this would be really beneficial if you're using the heavier um, coverage brush to get off, because sometimes you can't, you blend it, um, a little heavier in these areas and this will take that makeup off. Okay. You don't know that you're doing it. It just happens. Um, second, I would say if you're used to putting makeup on with a sponge, this would be a great way to, you could do the cheetah hack method that I showed you, um, placing the makeup on with your fingers and then sort of blending it in with the sponge. Okay. Um, all of these are great. I'm going to show you, I have my eye makeup on already, but I'm going to show you one side with the heavier coverage brush and one side with the lighter coverage. And the reason that I'm doing this is because I feel like with either brush, I'm getting the same amount of coverage. I feel like it's covering what I want. So I just kind of want to show you. <clears throat> so let's start with um, this heavier brush. We're going to go down the center. That's how I like to do my uh, concealer or brightening shade. And stippling again. It's a big one. So with this one, I'll use the smaller end. And again, this one, okay, this brush, because of the, um, that the bristles aren't so tight, you don't have to quite stipple as much. Um, but again, I'm a firm believer in stippling around your eyes, okay? Gonna go ahead and I'll do my contour first on this one. And this is how I like to contour. There are several, there's so many ways you could contour, okay? They're just, it's just a um, matter of personal preference. And you can also go with the shape of your face. Alright, so 
So there's that brush with the contour. Then on this one, I would use the smaller end and I would go around like this. I'm gonna blend this one in. I'm gonna go ahead and blend the contour in. I think my favorite part about um, the lighter application brushes is that I don't feel like I'm putting a ton on if I want to add later. I will say that it's a little easier to blend when you have the heavier application brushes. Um, I feel like it doesn't take me as long to blend with these. Now I'm gonna go in with my um, main foundation. And with this brush, I'm just going to place it Again, you're just kind of placing it where you want it anyway. You see how that gave me a lot thicker coverage there? Let's go with this one. All right. Let me blend that in. Tell the difference, like, um, with this one, I feel like I can white a lot over here. This one, I feel like it tugs just a little bit too much. So I want to stipple it. All right. So we've got that. Now let's do a little bit of a um, brightener and let's just kind of split it up. I'll do the top half with this brush and the bottom half with my other one because it's kind of hard to do. Okay. And then I put it into that there. Then on this one, I'm gonna use the smaller end again. I have a butt chin. So I don't like to get too much makeup in that part right there. I feel like it looks cakey when I do that. Blend that in. Bring up that brightener. I'm gonna pull down some of that contour. I can do that with this one over here. All right. Then we're gonna go in with um, some blush. I'm gonna use a gloss today. This is Summer Love. I super, super, super like this end of this brush for, for blush. Love it. This one, I, not so much for blush. Just gonna tap it in a little bit. And kind of with this one, it's more of a tapping motion, I would say, because um, it's just not as fluffy as the other one. So you're pulling on your skin a lot more. Okay. So there. That is... That's what we get with either. I actually want a little bit of powder. So let's do one side. I want some powder right here. I get oily around my nose, basically my T-zone, right in that area. You could use the bigger side for the powder on this one. I just kind of press it in. Again, it just kind of depends on what kind of coverage you're going for. I do like this one to take my powder and hit that like that. And it kind of makes my contour stand out. So there's that. I can do it over here with this side. 
it's just going to be a little bit of thinner line. Okay? So really, it, it just depends on which one you like. But I feel like I've got the same amount of coverage over here as I do here. Um, it's just what you're used to. Again, this is going to pick up the most. This is going to pick up the least. Then you can take that perfector sponge. I feel like I get too much makeup right in this area and right around here. It's just, I don't know, it happens for me. And then again, I said, I don't like it when it cakes up right here. Take that perfector sponge and just press in and it will take off that extra excess makeup. I will press that into my eye like that. Press that into those wrinkles. And there you go. That's it. So, again, lightest to heaviest coverage, okay? And then always the line brush, the perfector sponge is a must. And it's only $14, which is really cool. I've had mine for a year. Haven't had to get another one. And then this is obviously my favorite. I really do like to take this one um, with the powder. Maybe go over that T-zone area. So um, this is just a super, this is a good brush to have just for shits and gigs, right? Okay, so those are my tool tips today. And again, if you don't know what kind of coverage you're looking for, um, just shoot me a message because uh, I can ask you a few questions and figure out which brush would probably be best for you, okay? So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Miles would be so proud of me. And uh, comment on this video, okay? Uh, share it if you know somebody that would get some benefit out of it. And I appreciate you watching. Have a great day.